We've got breaking news out of the White House. President Biden appears to have settled on a nominee to lead the Food and Drug Administration, an agency, an agency that is critical in the fight against the coronavirus. NBC's Monica Alba back with us. Monica, what do you know? So this had been long awaited, Steph, because it had been months with a temporary acting commissioner to lead the agency. And the president had faced a lot of pressure to name somebody permanently, given, of course, how much the FDA has had to do in the midst of the health crisis and all of these approvals. So we now know that the president is poised to nominate Robert Califf, a cardiologist from Duke University, who actually was previously in this post in the Obama administration. He served for about 11 months near the end of that. And he did have bipartisan support when he faced his Senate confirmation. They voted 89 to 4 to support him those years ago. So it looks like he will be back in that position. But there have been some stalled nominations during the Biden administration. So it's unclear how long that could take. But this had been something that really came down to the wire. Monday is the legal deadline for the White House to name a permanent commissioner to lead the FDA, again, at a very critical time. And we now know this will be Mr. Califf, who has spoken at least once with President Biden in the last few weeks. And then this will go into a new phase in terms of moving to Capitol Hill. The Biden administration hoping he will be confirmed quickly. But again, it could take weeks, as we've seen with some of the other president's nominees, Steph.